So for today, we're going to be looking at the Dawning 2023 set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor and we already showcased the shaders of both right here. You guys can check it out. So in this video, we're going to be taking pieces of that armor set for the Hunters and making individual sets if this is your first video. So that's what we usually do when we get a new armor set. Uh, I do the review, the shaders, and then three other videos for the classes. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it because these videos are time consuming to say the least, just because I have to get all of the footage. I have to, it's a lot of work. So I would really much like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet. And I think the helmet is super cool. Um, I honestly don't even know where my head was going with this. I think I was going for like a, like an owl man type thing or like a Batman type thing. Either way, I think it came out pretty cool. For the helmet, Polar Predator Cal is what we're using. For the arms, Anthemic Invocation Ven Braces is the arms. I will be showcasing a different set for that video, specifically for the Anthemic Anthemic uh, Invocation, just because I already have it done. And this one I did after. So this is kind of like a plus, like an extra set for you guys. For the chess piece, the Megalomorph Fest. I love this chess piece. It's, it's becoming one of my favorite chess pieces when I want to combine it with like organic pieces. Uh, for the boots, Aphotic Strides. I'm not going to even try to say that name because always, I always fuck it up. But yeah, I'm using the Aphotics just because I think it looks really good. And if you guys haven't noticed, a lot of this theme is off colors. So for the shadering, it's actually polycarbon powder. And if you guys know anything about polycarbon fi fiber, it has that really cool like rainbow, like metallic look. And I really like that. So because the Megalomorph vest and the, and the Anthemic Invocation has that off coloring. I decided I'm going to use the Aphotic Strides just because I know that one has off colors as well. For the cloak, Phenotype Plasticity. I honestly, I don't really. This is the one part where you can change and use literally with anything you want. I just used it just because I was like, and hey, fuck it. I want to kind of showcase the helmet a little bit more. So that's why I used it. But I definitely think this is my favorite. Um, there are some other ones in this in this video that are pretty cool, but just like legitimately, this one is like the coolest one in my head. No exotic as well, so you it's very flex in that aspect. Like you can use any exotic you want. That being said, organic looking exotics are gonna look way better with this, just because obviously that's kind of like the whole spiel of this. Or spiky as well. As for the next set, I ended up going for a bird looking type thing. So from the actual pol polar predator set we're going to be using the cloak and the arms specifically for the feathering because we're going to be using the celestial nighthawk with the hrafna good ornament i'm sorry if i fucked that up and then for the chest piece vest of the anointed with the shadow strides because it has talons so this one is kind of like a bird kind of thing that's kind of like where my head was going to be fair i'm gonna like be honest with you guys if you guys really want to do like a bird looking set the warlocks have easily the best pieces for that i you guys will see that hopefully by monday maybe because i'm cur currently recording this on a saturday and i want to have that at least out by before tuesday so that way warlocks can get enough time to actually get those pieces that being said my my videos usually start to pick up traction within like a week or so so like this might be pretty rough for warlocks but hopefully you guys pick these armors up especially for the warlocks you can, I, I would say you can skip the hunters for sure but the titans and warlocks i think those pieces are so amazing not saying that hunters is bad by any means i like them as well but the sets that i made for the titans and warlocks are next level for the shadering cryptic insignias we're using just because uh reasons there is really no specific reason for this i just like the shader a lot um usually when it comes to shadering I tend to go with shaders that are either fixing a problem or just because I like it. And this one is, I'm, I literally just like the shader. As for the next set, we're going to be using Celestial again, but this time with the Carthiter, Carthiter, that fucking ornament, the filigree. I'm going to call it the filigree. The filigree ornament is super dope. I've made a dope set with this in the past. Hopefully I'll have a picture of it right now. Love this one. It's super dope. That being said, this is also kind of like a bird thing, but more like a casual like bird. I don't know. It's really rough to explain. I'll, I'll explain it once I showcase what I have. But 
Polar Predator's grips and Polar Predator's strides is what we're using. Rap, uh, Robo Raptor chassis for the hel for the chest piece and then for the cloak we're using Neoteric Kiok cloak. So my whole spiel was I was thinking about each actually combining the Robo Raptor boots, but I decided against it because it didn't look as good as it as I thought it was going to be. The reason I wanted to use the Robo Raptor boots is because it had a, has like a talon in the middle. And I was like, man, it's going to look really cool with like a bird look because birds have talons. So that kind of makes sense. Um, but I did not like the Polar Predators chess piece with the Robo Raptors. It just clashed too hard. Like the Robo Raptors looks a little casual compared to like everything else. So that's why I was like, I like it because of the talon, but that's not enough of a reason for me to make this set. So I actually think this came out really cool. It looks like, um, like a like a guardian took inspiration from a bird and not so much like oh this is literally just a bird it's more of a like the guardian has been putting like bird shit on there to like kind of like invocate the feeling of a bird i guess you would say but for the shadering regal daring for everything but the cloak because the cloak with regal daring i didn't really didn't want it uh it has red and there's literally almost no red in this so i was like i kind of don't want red on there because it's just gonna be one big color of red so Abyssinian Gold is what I use because it does a good job of just combining both the scarf and the hood into one color. Because if you guys don't know, the the uh, scarf and the whole cloak take different colors. So Abyssinian Gold is going to be the best one for that. And then last but not least, I have this weird fucking thing. I know it's weird. I don't get it, but it looks cool to me. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Dragonfly Regalia Mask with the Grips of the Hunt with Polar's Predator's Vest and then Ephrodite's Iron Cloak. So let me explain the thought process here. Um, Polar Predator's Vest, I think is not good. I'm not a big fan of it. It's too small when you compare it to other things. So the reason I combined the Grips of the Great Hunt with it is because again, the chest piece is really small and I needed something equally small to like n not make it look weird. Um, Dragonfly Regalia Mask, I wanted to do the whole like no face look for the Hunter just because I already have enough problems combining the chest piece with everything. I didn't want to fight the helmet as well. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm just going to hide it. And I also think it looks really cool. It, I very much look like, like an assassin for the queen because Dr Dreaming Spectrum just gives off that vibe. So, or at least like a woken vibe, I should say. And as for the exotic, we're going to be using the speed loader slacks. Um, I'm not a big fan of these exotics specifically, but I do like how they look. So that's why I'm using them. That being said, you will have to be careful if you, if you take this set and you're like, oh, I just don't want to use Dreaming Spectrum or I don't have it. The problem with this set is there's going to be a lot of c colors that are like clashing with each other. So, for example, the exotic, actually the the uh, the armor pieces on the legs do not change color in the sense that you think it takes off colors is what i'm trying to say so unfortunately you will have to work around that other than that um there also is a glow on the chest piece it's literally like the dots on the not like the leather all of that changes color it's a glow just be careful and that's another reason why i use dreaming spectrum because it doesn't look like it's glowing but it is a glow and overall i definitely think this one's cool i do think the Ephrodite's iron cloak makes this amazing because this is one of the cloaks that you have to use for the the dragonfly regalia mass tangled bronze combo so that way you have no face so let me know what you guys think i definitely think this one is super cool but i do think that first one is just like i hit it out of the park with that one that one looks so cool aesthetically and like the only thing i would really change is the cloak like at that point i would probably just go with something else um but yeah i definitely think some of these are really really cool that being said i will say right now that i'm super biased because the titans and more specifically the warlocks have some really amazing sets so much so that like the titans i think has like what two or three that are like actually like oh my god and then the warlocks i'm gonna be honest with you guys i think all of them are like certified bangers specifically the first two uh, if i remember correctly are just amazing and then like there's one that it's like it's cool still but i just it's not as good as the other ones so let me know what you guys think hunters do you guys like your sets let me know in the comments below i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i will see you guys later